there, fellow needle artist. This is Angel from The Elegant Thread. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about cross stitch and some other stuff. So I have a lot to share. I'm going to try and make this short, but <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> I actually have a finish to show you. But first, I have to let you know what I did with needlework travel. So last week, I went to the beach with my stitchy friends and we spent one whole week stitching and eating and kibitzing and that's it. And it was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> it was a complete break from technology. We shut everything down and kind of just ah, had some real quality time with needle and thread. Very relaxing. Every year, the lady who hosts it picks the theme. Um, <laughs> this year, the theme was sharks. Wait for it. <laughs> I have got some stuff. So everybody kind of brings little friendlies, um, things just to kind of share with the group. There are about a dozen of us. And you get to your, your place at the table and they have some things waiting for you. I made um, some bags for everybody. It's probably at the bottom of my pile. Yep. Here it is. I made these little shark bags for everybody. Isn't that cute? Shark bags. And I also made little shark needle minders, which mine is here somewhere. Oh, here's one. Here he is. Da da! Do -do 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 shark needle minder! Okay, that's him. Then some of the friendlies back, some of the things I got from other people. Let's see. Uh, waiting for us at the death table was this little holder for scissors. It's a little wooden spool and it has thread wrapped around it. And there was this scissor fob as well. It has this beautiful um, bead that looks like it has water on it. And wait for it. <laughs> this shark jaw at the bottom that moves so it can actually rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> that's cool uh, and then we had a little bead making session and we made these little shark um, needle threaders so I have my little shark bead on there and this is the one that I made so it's small I can stick it in my in my bag and I'll have a needle threader we had these really great, um, I guess you can use it as a jewelry bag because it has pockets inside uh, with this wonderful shark fabric. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and we have matching, got matching bags. Woohoo! That go with um, this. And we had a shark coaster. That's cool too. And inside all of this, ding ding, we had a little shark. And guess what? <laughs> Isn't that fun? Mine's a hammerhead. So that's what you get. Oh, he's not done. That's what you get when you go for a week, stitchy week, that is themed. It's loads of fun, wicked fun. And next year, <laughs> it's living on the hedge. Hedgehogs. Just wait. Oh my goodness, I have some ideas for hedgehogs. I think I'm going to design a pattern and, and bags. and Okay, it's going to be the year of the hedgehog. So let's get back to normal stuff since I'm, I'm back to reality from my, <laughs> from my visit to the beach. I have been sorely missing floss tube, not keeping up bad, bad, bad floss tuber. What I have been watching, I've been a few, let's see. Yesterday I popped in and watched Heidi Cran stitching one over two. Everything that she makes, she lives in Canada. And she does samplers as well. Everything she stitches is beautiful. Like everything. 
it's amazing. If you haven't seen Heidi Cran stitching one over two, pop on over there and check her out. She is doing Isabella Fox 1827 in a stitch along with um, Brenda and the Serial Starter and um, there was someone else uh, that escapes me that's doing it. And then a lot of other people if you want to do the stitch along as well. I haven't purchased it yet, but that doesn't mean I won't. <laughs> so Isabella Fox 1827 and she bought the silks for it. Mmm, they are luscious and they are beautiful. Princess Floss! I think it's all because of Laura and the Serial Starter and they are a very bad influence because they do wonderful things and then you want to stitch all of the samplers that they're stitching. Oh, I have too many. <laughs> so let me show you my finish. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, I have to show you the thing <laughs> in my shark bag. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I finished Chessie Smith from the Scarlet House. Ta-da! Here's my finish. I made some changes to it. Um, of course, we all make a few changes here and there. It was a, it was a kit, I got it at summer school last year, and it, it came with the floss, and it was Gentle Arts, um, you know, Weeks Dye Works uh, floss. I ran out of the green. I ran out of, well, a few. I ran out of three things on it. Um, so I borrowed a little bit of green and kind of mixed it in. And I think it, since it's an antique -y kind of looking sampler, I think it kind of blends in. You probably can't even tell where I, where I added the green. And then the blue, I picked something that was a little more variegated. Um, so I used a Romy's Creation Stacy's Primitive Blue. That's the blue that I added to uh, the pattern. And of course, I put the current year in here. I did keep Chessie Smith's name because it was originally her, it's a reproduction of her sampler, but I put the current date and I put my initials in it. So there you go. So the colors are different. I added French knots inside of these flowers, inside of all of these flowers. I filled in the inside of all of the uh, border flowers with blue. I this number session section here is supposed to be in red, but it's charted for green. So I was pulling it out to make it red, but then I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna, so it had blue in my hand, so I stitched it in blue and you know, it is what it is. I like it, it's all done. Let me tell you what it is stitched on. So, hold on. Okay, it's stitched on Picture This Plus Heartland Linen, 40 count, using Gentle Art and Weeks Dye Works Floss. Yay, look at that. Finally, a finish. I have something else that I finished, but no, I don't even know where it is. Okay, let's get into whips. Works in progress. Let's try and make this one quick. I joined a sal, I joined the, let's see, in my butterfly bag. I joined the Sunshine Stitchers. They're doing, uh, that's also floss tubers. They're doing a sal for Rosewood Manor Autumn Crakers. And uh, let's see, it started in on the 15th of August. You would think I'd be further along if it was 15th of August, but I'm not. Uh, here it is, big uh, fabric. However, I don't have something big enough to to put it on, so this is what I've done. Um, I've made a little bit of progress on it. Good progress, I think. So, you know, this whole section here is um, kind of what I filled in. I'm working on this flower and the pot at the bottom. So this is the actual width of it. <laughs> this is the whole width, and it's gonna be about, you know, this long. Uh, this uh, calls for, I believe, 28 count um, in the pattern. I'm using the Valdani, the pack of Valdani that, that comes it didn't come with it, but is made for it. I am separating the Baldoni and using one strand because I'm stitching on 46 count. Pretty happy with it. This is Lakeside Linen Light Exemplar, um, 46 count with Baldoni floss. Oops, light went out. Is it dark all of a sudden? <laughs> Oopsie. 
Let's see. Next, not that one. In my peacock bag, I have another whip. Mary Freer, 1808. This is from Julia Manfredini at, at GPA. I took a class from her in Williamsburg. And it's a, it's a reproduction sampler. Ooh, it's big and this is how far <laughs> I didn't have a piece of cardboard big enough. Use your imagination. So here it is. I am almost, not quite, all the way around. I uh, haven't finished the border yet, and please, please, everybody pray that this thing will connect. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing some very creative stitching because I'm not ripping a whole thing out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there, I think it will. It looks like it's going to come together. Um, this is what it's going to look like all the way around. So I had some really good progress on this. Happy, happy, happy. Let's see. It is stitched on Zweigart Newcastle linen, 40 count. And I'm using all of uh, the silks that came with it. They're from the Thread Gatherer. So it's a beautiful sampler in silks. It's a joy to stitch but it is big. Why do I start all these big things? I don't know. I should do a whole bunch of small things because then I would get like this sense of accomplishment. But they're also beautiful. How can you not? Okay, there is one whip I'm going to talk about at the end because you'll see why. Okay, let's move on to a new start. Because of the other whip, which I'm going to talk about, I had to, I had to put, put it in time out and I had to move on to something else. So I've had, <laughs> I've had Harriet Salt sitting here waiting to be started. And I was in violation of the red sampler law since I did not have one started. So let me find something to put behind it. Oh, let's use something small. Sorry, it's hard to reach. Okay, here we go. I didn't iron it, but there it is. I, this is cut to size for what is needed for, <laughs> for this project. I'm stitching on 56 count. So uh, Zweigert Kingston a linen in Cafe Au Lait, um, 56 count. It is, it's not as hard as you think it is. Use good light. Uh, you can see it. I do use magnification. I'm doing it with uh, Auversoir 103. This is the red that I chose. They don't have names for their reds. They just have numbers. So this one is 2646. Oops, I really would help if I put that in the right direction. There it is. I like it. When I was at the attic and when I purchased it, <laughs> Nicola Parkman was there and she went with me to pick out the linen and, and the red to, to go with it. And you know, if you're walking along buying things for Harriet Salt and Nicola Parkman says, I think this would go great with your linen, you buy it on the spot because Really, <laughs> uh, I'm very fortunate. I think it's, it looks beautiful. It's, it's such a wonderful kind of deep, deep red and it's, it's gonna be lovely. I have had to rip out the D and restitch it. So ripping out on 56 count in silk is a bit like ripping out over one. <laughs> that's, about, that's about what it's like. Um, so that in itself is a challenge. <laughs> I don't recommend you do it. <laughs> Pay attention. Don't be like me and a few stitches over, somehow, instead of going over two, you added an extra stitch. It's like my needle starts to go in and then it just whoop, rolls over to the third, to the third strand. Why? Why? I was clearly looking at the second hole and hands, eye, coordination. I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. Okay. Let's talk about the saddest thing. Let's talk about one thing I used to be very excited about. Let's talk about 
Elizabeth Atkinson, 1829. If you've watched this before, you know I started Elizabeth Atkinson and I'm terribly excited. I'm also doing Elizabeth Atkinson on a 56 count. Oh no, 46 count. Yeah, she's on 46 count. 46 count, Weeks parchment, and it's a Zweigert base. I am using over a Swa 103 silks. Uh, however, this is as far as I will get on this one because <laughs> I was stitching along and I realized that it's so stupid. I oriented my fabric in the wrong direction. to start over. Guess what? I'm not going to frame an unfinished <laughs> an unfinished portion of a sampler. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a pin cushion out of it. I I don't even know what to say. Uh, you know, I <laughs> I noticed it when I went to change scroll rods. I I'm unrolling it and I'm like, "Huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever done that? Stitched something that you were either playing, you know, edge chicken uh, with it, uh, you know, border chicken, or, or or you stitched it in the wrong orientation, um, or you just misjudged. I did have one time I bought fabric that said it was a count. It turned out not to be that count, and therefore what I st was stitching did not fit. Of course, I didn't realize that until I was two thirds of the way through. So this is the second time in my life that I have been a nice way, a nice ways, a few months maybe, into a project and I realize that it's not going to fit on the fabric. That is heartbreaking, heartbreaking. So that's why I started Harriet Salt. I was in violation of the law of always having a red sampler going, now I'm not in violation of the law. I feel better about myself and Elizabeth Atkinson is going into timeout for a little while. Boo-hoo. <laughs> it's all I can say. <laughs> Whew, that is it. I do have one more um, work in progress that I have not worked on at all. I've seen it before. And this one is um, Humility Cooper into the New World. This is how far I am. Whoop. I did finish the border all the way around and I did start uh, the middle. This is also stitched in silk, um, 40 count, I believe. I don't have it in front of me. I do apologize. I believe it's 40 count uh, linen and it's by Lauren Sauer, Forget Me Nots and Stitches. Okay. That is everything. My next travel will be in February. I'm going up to the Tatter Blue Museum in Brooklyn, New York. I will show you that project next time. Okay, I also received some stitchy mail. I received this awesome postcard, Saju from Paris and it actually has cross stitching on it, which is awesome. So if I wanted to stitch that, I could because you can see it's like a pattern, it's colored and everything. Wonderful. So thank you. Thank you, Renda. <laughs> okay, it's time now to share the stash. Okay, so I did a randomy thing through the comments Counted them all up, 73, put that all into a number generator, turned out to be six. And Kathleen Strickland, you won the stash. So I'm gonna share some stash with you. With you. Here it comes. Ding ding. So please send me an email. I will put my email address in the comment, responding to your comment. Please send me your mailing address and 
The U.S. Post Office will deliver this to your home. And it can be out of mind. Share the stash. So I was digging through my stash and I have something else I'd like to share. This time, share the stash is a drawn thread pattern. It's the drawn thread, it's called My Favorite Things. It's a small sampler. I believe the original is done in silk. Um, but I'd like to share this pattern. It's in my stash. I don't need it anymore. Share the stash. I'm going to, let's see. Since I had such a disaster <laughs> with my Elizabeth Atkinson, and now I have to start over, include the word heartbreak in your comment. Hey, tell me, have you ever experienced that before? Oh my goodness, it's, it's, that girl's in timeout. Time out for you. So, you know the rules. You have to be 18 or older. I would prefer that you're a subscriber. And let me share the stash with you. Talk to you soon. Have a really, really great day. I hope you get a lot of stitching done. Smile, happy stitching, and I'll see you next time. You won't be me and We should be closer than friends uh. If you OPN uh. Engaging you's on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN uh. Take that hot road and hop in uh. Open up uh, Open up uh, Shut it down like a bag of Open up uh, Open up uh, Open up uh, Open up.